was Archimedes? I'm glad you asked. He was an ancient Greek mathematician and inventor, and he made all sorts of strange and wonderful devices. Unfortunately, I don't think he ever had the opportunity of seeing a 10-pin bowling alley, because if he had, I think he might have changed them completely. Why? Well, he invented one device called a catapult, which was used in warfare. Great pieces of timber, springs, and it hurled rocks at the enemy. You can make one yourself, a miniature one, that's safe using just a few simple things from around the backyard. Block of wood. You'll also need two large wood screws, and you'll need two strong rubber bands, and an ice cream stick or a coffee stirrer. That's all. What tools will you need to put it together? Well, you'll need two things. Preferably a gimlet to start the screw holes going so the wood doesn't split, like that, or maybe a hand drill to do the same thing. And then a screwdriver. Place the screws a distance apart, a little further than the rubber band when it's stretched out straight, like that. And then, this is most important, put those screws in as tightly as you can. They must be tight. If they're loose, the whole thing could become a little bit dangerous. Now, when we make this, we're not going to hurl rocks at all. In fact, we're going to hurl something quite soft, little pieces of plasticine. Much, much safer than hard stones or buttons or anything like that. So there it is. That's the basis of the catapult. Now, here comes the spring part. One of the rubber bands is placed between the two screws, about a third of the way up from the base. And then the wooden stick goes in between those two, and then you start turning it backwards, like this. About 12 to 15 turns. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when you're doing this, try and keep the stick as flat as possible and as near the center of the rubber band as you can. There. Now I can tell that it must be just about right. I can feel that there's a lot of tension in the twisted rubber band. Keep holding onto the stick and then bring the second rubber band into the picture and that stretches between the very tops of the screws, like that. Now you can see how it's going to operate already, can't you? When I let go of that end of the ice cream stick, it'll flick forward like that. And if an object is placed in this position here, it should be flung in that direction. Well, ammunition, as I said before, small balls of plasticine. So we'll take one. We'll position the catapult here. As I said, it's like a 10-pin bowling alley. We have 10 little men cut out of cardboard, all identical. And you'll notice that we've arranged them just as they arrange the pins in the bowling alley. Four in the back row, three in the next row, two in the next row, and one at the front. Now, ammunition is ready, catapult is ready. We aim it up carefully and blaze away. Well, we've got four down that time. Time for the next piece of ammunition. Now you can play this game a number of ways. You could start with, say, five or ten pieces of ammunition, or, alternatively, you could use the same rules that you do in ten-pin bowls. Frames, strikes and spares. Well, here we go for the second shot. Swivel the base around just a little and... hit another one. See how high you can score with Archimedes ten-pin bowls. <laughs>